Ellen Rost has more on what may be the cause. A lot of residents were surprised to see this branch of Capital One close, but it's not the only major bank in the area with branch closures. And experts say this is a problem, but it's nothing new. Iberia Bank is another one residents are losing. This branch on Ruth Street will be the second one to close in Sulphur in October. Mike Harmison, the president of Lakeside Bank, has seen the banking climate change during his 46 years of experience. He says a lot of the national and regional bank branches have been closing in the area over the past few months. It's basically because of the analytical ability of the individual banks to say, this is what I need to return a profit on my investment. Harmison says if the branch is losing account holders and deposits, they must reevaluate. They also have taken a position that if we don't close the office, maybe the thing to do is change the dynamics of the office, move more toward automation and less toward people. And that means a lot more usage of ATMs and online banking, which a lot of residents prefer. I do my banking online and also I go to the ATM because it's more convenient for me. You know, I don't have to wait in a long line. So I'd rather just do it online to where it's so easy. Go to ATM, get my money, and I'm out. Mostly online. Why? It's more convenient. But there are still some that have other needs the apps can't satisfy. Uh, deposit, money, uh, cash checks, uh, open new accounts, and try to like just get more information on like my credit score, and I'm trying to buy a new house. There are still people visiting the branches, so the question remains, how are they losing business? Harmison can't speak to why those particular branches closed, but says the expectations of the economy may be to blame. You've got a lot of banks that have moved into this area to take advantage of the economic growth. And until we see all of that economic growth, then you're just doing nothing more than slicing the pie into smaller increments. At your service in Lake Charles, Caitlin Russ, KPLC 7 News.